Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Today I'm going to do some uh, more 3D bloom flowers. I'm going to use alcohol inks. It's quite a warm day so I'm going to get straight on with it. First of all I'm going to take out the resin that I need from the large pot ready to make my white. I'm just going to put that into a separate little pot and then I'm going to spread the rest of the resin between the moulds. As I always say, I don't need a thick layer at this point, I just need a good covering on the bottom. You can fill the moulds right up to the top at this point, but I like to leave myself the option of doing a backing layer. Uh, but it's entirely your choice as to whether you do that or whether you fill them right up to the top at this point. just got a little bit spare so I'm just going to pop it into a mould that I keep handy. I keep some of my crystal moulds handy so that if I've got any spare bits I can just pop it straight into there. That's what I'm doing now. I don't think the moulds in on the screen, but I'll, I'll show you the I'll show you the mould that I'm using when I've just popped the the resin into it. There we go. That's the mould that I've just used. So I've just managed to fill that up from a tiny, a tiny bit spare. But these crystal moulds don't take a lot, so I've managed to fill it up from what I had left anyway. I'll leave that on one side to, to, to set and cure up. And I'm on with these. So, right, I'm going to do four different four different sets of two colours. So they're all resin eight colours, and I will go through the colours as we put them, as we set them down. So the first one is um, iris. And iris is going to go in the middle put two drops in the middle um, and iris is going to be surrounded by vampire next we'll have um, clementine Clementine's going to go in the middle. And Clementine is going to be surrounded by um, Mojito. Next we'll have um, Persian, Persian's going in the middle and is going to be surrounded by lemon. And last but not least we're going to have uh, leather in the middle I actually think it's my first time using leather so I'm not sure what it's going to be like but it looks quite nice so far and leather's going to be surrounded by eggnog which is one of my favourites Now while the alcohol inks are doing their own thing, I'm going to make my white pigment which is my usual Resi Tint Max in Titanium White and a few drops of my Piñata Pearl alcohol ink. So I'm going to, as always, stir the pot of um, the pigment, mix all the good stuff up together, give the sides and the bottom a good scrape. Now once I've got some on my um, popsicle stick, I'm going to scrape off my stick 
and put my stick into my pot of resin and I'm going to give it a good stir I'm thinking in my head what sort of petals we should do I wish I, I wish you could answer me I wish you could help me um, if you help you could help me to decide that would be great okay so I've stirred it in the um, pigment so I'm going to add 10 drops because I've got quite a lot so I'm going to add 10 drops of the um, alcohol ink you don't have to use the alcohol ink I know a lot of people don't and it doesn't affect their results at all so you don't have to but I just use it because I like the effect it gives I'm just going to stir in the alcohol ink and then I'm going to pour all that into my piping bag I'm just going to snip the very end of my piping bag off and then we can start piping. Check the size of the hole first of all. That's absolutely fine. So I think we might do, in fact before I start, I'm just going to give a few of these a little, a little stir, a little helping hand because some of them have not spread quite as much as I would have liked just done two of them really I'm just going to give these a helping hand oops just pulled the head of my silicon tool off there I might just add a little bit more eggnog actually There we go. Okay, so I think we might actually do a mixture of um, different shapes. So we'll start off with a spiral, which is my personal favourite, I think. I love the effect that you get from the spiral. The finished flower on a spiral, I, I don't know, you just can't beat it. Oops, gone over the edge there, look. Okay, now the next one we'll do, um, I think we need something to fill the gap. So we'll do ever decreasing triangles, that's what I call them. if it works out right it looks like the um, the white it just encases the, um, the what, what will in this case be the mojito the green and it makes it look like it's a flower actually wrapped inside a petal it looks beautiful if it works nicely um, I think on this one we'll just do circles but we'll do no we'll do a flower shaped circle
and on this one I think we'll do petals Come back into the middle of the petals and do a little bit of white. And go around the outside of the petals again and just thicken them up a little bit because they're not as thick as I would like them to be. little circle in the middle. Got a couple starting to bloom already which I always say is a good sign. Just going to come up and do a line on each of these or in between each of these should I say. Okay. Now I'm going to use my silicone tool and I'm just going to um, use it to drag through the resin and highlight the flower shapes. I'm not touching the bottom of the mould or the top of the mould, whichever way you look at it. I'm not dragging it along the bottom of the mould, I'm literally just taking it through the top of the resin. And I'm just going to do a little spiral. With this one, we're going, to, we're going to go in on the ones where um, I've taken the line out, which will probably defeat the object of taking the line out, but not to worry, it just defines the shape of the flower a little bit. And then we'll do a little swirl. And this one again will come in. And we'll do a little swirl. The blue and the yellow have made, made a nice green together so it looks like there's actually three colours in that one which looks nice. And then the last one will come in between the petals. just do a little swirl in the middle and that's it that's all I'm going to do with them I'm going to leave them to cure up until tomorrow and tomorrow I will be back to show you the results um, I hope you'll make a nice set together um, I might put a backing layer on them I might just leave them as they are um, but we've started with, I mean, I've used craft resin, so we've got the heat resistant layer down already. Um, so it doesn't really matter what I do with the back, I can backfill with anything now. Um, so I'll leave those until tomorrow and see how they cure up. And I will be back then, so I'll say bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi there, welcome back. I've got these coasters that I'm just going to demould. Um, I started them a couple of days ago, but they've just been um, curing and I put a backing layer on, but I just, I didn't film the backing layer. I just clear put a clear backing layer on um, just to top them up um, because they looked like they were blooming beautifully. So let's take them out of the moulds, take them all out and then we'll have a look at them one by one. to one side. Get some black card. Oh and it is the it is the holographic effect as well. That is beautiful. Do you see what I mean about the um the way that the 
the white blooms around the um, the coloured ink and it makes it look like a, a full flower with a little separate colour in the middle. I absolutely love it when it goes like that and that happens. Um, so I'm really pleased with that one. Let me see if I can get some of the holographic effect for you. I will take some still shots at the end of the video so you get the holographic effect then but I'm really happy with that one. Let's have a look at this one. Now this one I'm not so sure about because I did blue and yellow and obviously it's got some green in so I think this one's going oh wow that's much better than I thought. Got a couple of blobs but they actually add to the um, to the design if anything. I wasn't so sure about this one but I really do like it. See if I can get some of the holographic effect for you. It's so difficult to pick the holographic effect up on video and then just as you get it I'll move a little tiny bit and you'll lose it again. But as I say I will take the still shots and the holographic effect is much easier to pick up on the still shots. And then the next one, oh, I really like this one. Yeah, the, it just looks like the the flowers have bloomed with a, and then the the um alcohol ink in the middle is is just like the center like the the um what do they call the bits where the bees get the pollen from um do you know I can't think of the word the only word I can think of is stamen and I'm sure it's not stamen. They look, it looks like the bits in the middle where the bees would get the pollen from anyway. Um, but they look, it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy with that. And then the last one. Oh wow. The colours on the back, look, look at the colours on the back. And then you turn it over and the colours on the front are so different, they're so muted, they're absolutely stunning. I lo just love the way it's bloomed. I can't remember which um, flower pattern I did on this either. I'll have to look back on the video and see which flower patterns I did on which of the coasters because um, I really do like this one. I'm really happy with it. I think that one might have been the ever decreasing triangles but I'm not 100% but I just love the way it's bloomed. I'm really happy with those. Let me see if I can get all four together on the card and show you all four. As I say I'll do still shots so you will see them all together um, but um, I just wanted to show you the full set. So yeah I'm really pleased with those, they've come out beautifully. Um, so I will be back with another experiment soon. Um, so bye for now and I'll see you soon.